Hello friends, today in this video I am going to present two very important mathematical concepts. One is a golden ratio and another is a fractal. So what is fractal? Fractal is fractal is something about symmetry and like we know symmetry is very important in our nature. As you see mountains, rivers, trees, anything you can see too. There is a, there is a symmetry like in our human body, there is a bilateral symmetry. So why these things are important in mathematics? And another thing is the golden ratio. What is golden ratio? Golden ratio is something which defines beauty. If you define something beautiful, then you can use the golden ratio. So to know these answers, I am at IIT Gandhinagar. Let's have a look. see a self similarity it's called as evolving symmetry so when you zoom it the part which is inside it has a very similar shape as to what the earlier part had again if you zoom further in you will see that the part there has a similar shape to what the whole uh, shape looks like this is something called as fractals so there are number of examples where fractals arise in nature it's actually a mathematical concept so fractal is a geometric object or a mathematical set you can say which uh, has self similarity in the sense of zooming in and then you see the similar shape. So where do fractals arise in nature? So you can see them arising in patterns on stones in mountains. You can see them arising in vegetables like Romanesco broccoli. So there is this broccoli and if you look at this cone shaped thing. And there are many smaller cone shaped things inside and inside that one particular smaller cone shaped thing you will see further cone shaped things. So that is an example of a fractal. Another thing where fractal arises are in river networks. So I mean this is an incredible uh, thing where you can see lot many examples through nature which inspire us to study mathematics and that is uh, how nature helps us in understanding mathematics. <laughs> so this is entire architecture, you'll see that this ratio uh, of a phi has been uh, manifested in an entire piece as such. That's why you'll see that it is a uh, uh, pleasing architecture, right? So this is a, uh, so the, in a, uh, man-made architecture, good or pleasing architectures, this golden ratio has been manifested. So the same thing ha has been uh, depicted over here. Uh, that, that is a dilapidated uh, structure now. Now if you just uh, uh, trim it, you'll be able to see that uh, uh, a framework of uh, 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 golden ratio in all aspects, which is the uh, outer thing or inner thing or in micro thing, etc. Golden ratio 5 you can uh, e say aesthetically pleasing, beautiful, right? That is a little uh, 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 perhaps not uh, for mathematics. Uh, to, it doesn't have any metric. If you want to arrive at some sort of metric by a number or some sort of thing, this phi is the one which gives you that metric of so called beauty, aesthetics, etc. That's please. For instance, if you just take uh, the music compositions, right? Music composition normally the climax of uh, the composition comes around somewhere around 62 percent or so, not in the middle or at the end. So this 62 percent forms one is to 1.62. So the music composition itself it is embedded manifested with uh, the golden age composition right and rivers also in the way they flow and the pattern they make that fine is uh, embedded so anything that whether it's natural thing man-made thing or uh, anything that you s say beautiful or uh, aesthetically looking you see that the manifestation of uh, fun and another thing uh, nature is sprouting of the trees 
right? What you do is uh, you plant one uh, uh, seed and from that one uh, sprout comes, next uh, two sprouts come, next three sprouts come and if you just go on uh, seeing the way the tree grows, the it follows Fibonacci sequence in a natural way unless you try to do it. Uh, trimming and other things. If you just allow, say, neem tree or any of those things, allow it. Starting from the seed, one seed, one sprout, and then uh, uh, two uh, uh, sprouts, and then three sprouts, five sprouts. So the tree, natural beauty, is uh, manif- I mean, it uh, contains a uh, manifestation of fire. So, like that, anything that you see, beautiful, man made or natural, or even math- mathematically, it is a beautiful equation. You see. So anything that you feel fa- uh, beautiful, or aesthetically looking, then you be assured that the manifestation of five is uh, present.